it's Innovative Idea Girl, and today I'm going to be showing you another cool DIY. So, this DIY, I'm going to show you how to make a really cool um, plastic envelope that's going to help you organize all your papers. So, first, the materials go you're going to need for this craft are, you're going to need plastic packaging. I got this one from some kind of like box that was in a rectangular shape. And those kind of packaging would be better for the envelope because you're going to see how it's going to be. Um, so yeah. You're going to need scissors. Some yarn or thick string. And you're going to need some color cards. You can get these at like the Home Depot or any other furniture store. They usually give these out to like, you know... For, so you can like pick colors to, I don't know, like paint something in your room or like that. So I have all these pretty colors. You're going to need a pen or pencil. I will be using a pen. You will need tape or hot glue, but I would suggest tape because it's much better and it'll help you stay more organized. You'll see why. And we will need some decorations. I have a whole, I have a lot of decorations right here in this envelope. I mean, in this folder. So, yeah. So let's start. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your plastic packaging. And as you can see, this packaging has like, has these little flaps that open like that. So you're going to fold them in, and my kind of packaging also has this top flap, which is going to be useful. So the first thing we do, we fold this, and then I just press it down to make sure I know what my envelope is going to look like. So right now it's like that, and I forgot to take a sticker off, but that's okay. I just take it off. totally did not realize that so I'm just going to be doing that so I tried to get it off as good as I could but a little bit of the sticker couldn't come out but that's okay I can always you know just cover it up with some of my decorations so once you have that you're going to you know just Crease it down so you remember where you're going to fold it. Now, as you can see, you may have some flaps right here like this. We are going to cut them down a notch, but not too much. So, just a little. I'm basically just cutting it in half, so... And if you don't have packaging that's in a rectangular shape, like I said, that's okay. You can always take regular packaging and you can fold it into this kind of shape, so don't worry. The thing is, though, plastic is very, it's kind of hard to fold, so it would be great if you can actually find a rectangular box. So now we have this. Um, okay, so... Now, I cut it down a little bit, if you can see, it's not really showing that well, but you can see that. So, now you're going to take your tape, and mine is brand new, so I need to open it. However, I am having issues with that. Okay, I think that's how you do it. Um, so now I'm going to take my tape, um, and... I'm going to take a long enough piece that will fit like th that will fit right here in the middle. So let me see what I can do. Wow, it's very strong tape, <laughs> and it smells really bad. So now I have this and what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to like put it right here inside so so I can like get it into a more thicker kind of so let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to take both of these sides, both of these flaps, 
and I'm gonna pull them in and then like I'm gonna pull both of them together so I can get that so I get like a rectangular shape-ish kind of thing in the middle and then I pull them up okay and then I take my tape and I use it to like um I use it to um, get both of them together. So then I take my tape and I just put it there. And I have a little piece of paper that's just hanging down there, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to fold my tape. And now I have one side done, and now I just have to do the other side, so here I go. Okay, I got that piece. Now, let's see. There we go. I have finished my next side. So, this is where the color cards come in. So, you can make a bunch of these folders and you can organize them in one box. Um, so that you know where to put them and it's all organized. So, the color cards, you can use them to label your envelope so you know that which one has which kind of stuff in it. For example, um, I think I may use this one for, let me see, I have a perfect idea, but I have to see if my idea fits in, okay, so what I mean by that is I'm thinking to organize all my designer kind of papers right here, so I need to make sure it fits in, well, especially these square ones because I'm not sure if they're gonna fit in. Oh, so, so look, they actually fit in. I have a lot more of these designer kind of papers, but I have no place to organize them, so some are in this folder and some are in another folder, so yeah. So I think I'm going to take, hmm, let's see. So I'm, the, I'm just going to choose any color card. Let's see, um, I think I'm going to choose this one. It's called Candy Drop. Look at that one. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out in any shape, but it has to be big and wide enough so that I can label it designer papers or graphic papers so that, you know, I know what it has. So let's see. I think I'm going to do hmm, a rectangle. The easiest shape ever. And maybe add a little curve to it. So, I'm just going to, you know, put some wavy lines like that. I think I like that. And now what you're going to do, you're going to take another piece of tape and, okay. So, it doesn't want to come out, okay. And I'm going to cut that piece of tape into thinner strips and then I'm going to tape on my, I'm going to tape on my, um, little label, um, color card. And I am going to put it in that kind of way which it fits. But before I do that, I'm going to take my pen, pencil, or whatever you're using. Um, and I'm going to label it whatever I have in it. So I'm going to label it design, des designer cards. I mean, designer papers, yeah. There you go. Designer papers. And I end up with this. It says designer papers on it, if you can't see. Um, and then I take my tape and I put it over that so it stays there and like it doesn't get ruined or, you know, smudged or anything. And then I add my other piece, my other piece of tape right above. And 
And now this looks a little bit too simple. So let me see if I can decorate it. But before we move on to that, we need to make sure our envelope closes. I mean, that's important, right? You don't want anyone just like, what if they fall out? You don't want that to happen. So let me just show you what you can do. You make a little tiny hole right here in the spot that um, on your plastic that's available. And I'm going to try doing it in the middle. And the reason why I said try is because I'm not that good at making, you know, putting things like at the perfect spot ever. So, okay. Okay, so I just made like a little slot, but I'm pretty sure my yarn will fit in. And then what I do, I take my envelope and I take this part, the plastic that's like covering it. And I make a hole somewhere right there, but somewhere that it's not going to be covered. And then what I do is I take my yarn and I cut out a piece that's big enough. So there we go. So I cut out this piece of yarn. Now I take this and I first, what I do is I insert my yarn through this slot that I made on the outside. So. Oh, okay. Okay, so I am just having minor issues. Okay, there we go. I got it in. And then I put it through that slot we made on the flap that's going to be covering it with the label on it. And I insert it through there. I'm not sure if this will be easier. And it is easier. So now I just take this and I just you know keep on inserting it in and then I close up my flap and I just take out a lot of yarn on the top okay and then what I do is I I close it and then I just tie it so that it stays closed so I'm just going to like tie it right here. Okay, I'm, but I'm not going to knot it because knots can be big issues sometimes. So, I'm just going to make two bunny ears or maybe four bunny ears to keep it even more secure um, and more pretty. And now I have this. So it looks pretty like that, but you can decorate it any way you want. Um, or, let's see, you can decorate it with stickers or anything of those sorts. But I think I might first have to work on getting the sticker off, so yeah. I would suggest you don't have a sticker on your plastic because that takes forever to take off. So anyways, guys, this was the craft. You can, this is so useful. You can organize anything you want and um, it'll stay so, you know, it's just so cute and how you can do so many things with plastic. I mean, I have so many, but for now, this is the first one I'm going to show you guys. But, um... So you can use this for so many kind of papers, and it doesn't have to be papers. It could be pencils, maybe color pencils, maybe crayons, or anything like that. Maybe even if you have small rulers or erasers, because this is big enough to fit all those kind of things. So guys, this was my craft, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you'll try it out. So please subscribe and like to my videos and I will see you on the next video. Bye!